Hello and welcome to another of Campbell DeKale's Takeaway Trios. Today we're um, looking at how to ensure your golden rules are truly golden. So, golden rules are all the rage, for very good reason. They enable a board to articulate its financial risk appetite and therefore to delegate the space for risk taking to the executive team. These takeaways will make sure that you uh, enhance your golden rules, they help you debate how much risk your organisation wants to take. So, top tip number one, Ensure that both rule setters and rule followers understand that these red lines are never to be crossed. So the rule setters are the board and the rule followers are the executive team as a whole and possibly the finance team. They have to understand that these are not aspirations to be attained at some point in the future, but they are red lines that are not to be crossed at any point. Top tip number two, hardwire your golden rules into those key decision gateways. And this is particularly important for development and sales decisions. So any rules you might have about portion of market facing activity, about liquidity, about working capital should be on the agenda of meetings that are going to take decisions about new development or new sales. Top tip number three, monitor those golden rules forwards. So often we see boards monitoring them backwards so they get uh, assurance at each meeting that in the last month or the last quarter those rules were complied with. But what really makes a difference is monitoring them forward. So they have to appear in every cash flow forecast, in every long-term business plan. And you have to demonstrate that you're complying with those golden rules looking forward. So those are our top three tips for golden rules. Thank you.